How y'all doing? Right. Hey, we're coming. We're, what we're doing is we're awakening our brothers and sisters in Christ to the fact that regularly scheduled kind of Taco Tuesday Christianity is simply not going to cut it. And we have a high view of the church. So what we're doing is we're saying, brothers and sisters, look, humanistic incubation centers are littered across the land where the, where the religion of secular humanism is being inculcated in the rising generation. Lawlessness is being enforced by agents of the state. One image bearer of God is being unknit as the Father is knitting them together in the womb. One image bearer of God is being unraveled every 30 seconds, slaughtered, butchered, maimed, while the church, the churches of America, 80 million, 80 million Christians are just going about their regularly scheduled programs, donating to pro-life ministries that are regulating the mode and disposal of the murder and the disposal of the babies and things like that. At the end of the day, we have the same power inside of us that raised Jesus from the grave. Matter, energy, space, and time was created by the Spirit of God. And that's that the Holy of Holies is, is within us as the Bride of Christ. We have the power to do this, but it's going to take us laying it all down. No, this is yeah. If you, yeah. If you guys need yeah. to be here. Yeah. Are you yeah. get invited to the pulpit to tell everybody there? Oh, we would love that. No, we, we would love that, that we're not welcome inside. We're not welcome inside. That's okay. That's okay because the sidewalks, like in, uh, in Germany during the Holocaust, right? Mm -hmm. What they did was they went out to the sidewalks outside of the churches. Okay, the, I'm just the, surprised yeah, that yeah. you say you're not welcome. Is yeah. Maybe, I don't know, yeah. there's some, yeah. what, what's, what's the mismatch in... Because well, I know I know you're preaching to the choir a lot here if you're standing out no, here. No, 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 no. It's not it's it's everybody has a moral opinion against yeah. abortion. A moral opinion. But what do the boots of that opinion actually look like on the ground? Jesus says if you know what to do and you know what is right to do but you don't practice it, you're worse than if you didn't know. Eric, yeah. May I ask yeah. you? Oh, absolutely. Are you aware yeah. that we do support yeah. Our um, yeah. ministry in Plano, for yeah. instance, that's like a crisis right pregnancy center. Yes, you, that's that's not that's not going to cut it. A I crisis that. pregnancy. We, that's yeah. not the only yeah. thing. Of course. We also have women to women ministry. Sure. Yeah, we have mom to sure. mom. Sure. We have mothers in Korea. Sure. They're not to diminish sure. what God is putting yeah. to you. Yeah. Please do not. Yeah. What do yeah. you do to, to stay yeah. legal and not break the law? Because. I mean, there, it's, not, it's not the law. See, that's exactly the mindset that we have to come against. There is only two categories in the Bible. There is law and lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Man cannot declare legal what God has declared illegal. Yeah, but, but what, how, do we, how do we go ahead and if something is wrong, we all know there's wrong laws. We, we preach the gospel against it. The gospel isn't just that your soul gets to go to heaven when you die. The, the gospel is that Jesus is king and he's reigning in every single area of life. Do you know that the whole world was almost Christianized before this kind of apathetic church stuff started in America about a hundred years ago? There were Christ, Christendom, you could actually walk in before the, before, around the founding era, you could walk into a courtroom with your Bible and say, that man uh, did this against me and it's wrong because of this and if the and it could be it, everything would be measured against the Word of God against the law of God Today we laugh at that. We think there's no way. It's impossible. Why? We have resources that the amount of resources in this building alone sure I mean we fill up baby bottles full of change We we, we have a moral opinion against abortion. We check that box. We donate to a pro-life ministry these pro-life ministries are lobbying. I used to be the spokesperson for a large pro-life ministry called Survivors of the Abortion Holocaust. They lobby politicians for laws saying that a baby can feel pain at 20 weeks, so we're going to make sure that it's a pain-capable act, so every baby 20 weeks and over, okay, cannot be aborted. So what is the inverse of that? What is the, what is the implication of that law? It's the every week 20, every baby 20 weeks and under is okay. It's open season to kill for, yeah, for drinking, for drinking, right? It, there's no law that says if you're, if you're under 21, uh, if you're over 21, you can drink. There's a law that says if you're under 21, you cannot drink. So what it says is that if you're over 21, the e implicit, exp uh, uh, the e em implications of the law say that it allows it. It's permissible. And God is not mocked. He says, woe to those that write unrighteous decrees. And we try to fight it and limit humanism mm -hmm. with humanism. We're trying to fight evil with evil. And we think it's good, but it's not. And this goes on and on. And it's not just the abortion genocide. It's humanistic indoctrinations in the schools. It's police that are stopping people and basically asking for papers. Uh, uh, the, the whole... Uh, um, uh, the whole progress of, of calling somebody a, the law. well the law of God only the law of God but the, yeah 
but only the law of God. You have to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. What it belongs to just, Caesar. Not just taxes. Yes, Caesar needs to give to God what belongs to God, though. God has yeah, yeah. disposed. How do we, how do yeah. we go about without being an anarchist or a... The, the, here, here's the thing, that's self-canceling because the anarchist is the one that's going against the law of God and saying that the law of man must be enforced. I know, it's a circular argument. Yeah, but the argument. anarchists are yeah. sometimes in but the government. But the fact is, for me yeah. personally, yeah. I agree that yeah. we need to stand in our own authenticity very strongly about things. In, in our actions. In the Lord. In our actions. We need to stand in the Lord. Because yeah. it is the Holy Spirit empowers, uh, He empowers yeah. our gifts. Yeah. And he is the one that makes open to us the possibilities and the opportunities. Sure. And yes, it's true. We have to be sensible and sensitive mm -hmm. to where the Holy Spirit is going to show us where to move and how to move to mobilize the others to move with us. Yeah. Mostly. And well, absolutely, I agree with you, people need to wake up. Yeah. Because they have to know there's a watershed. Praise happening. God. Yeah, praise God. And it's important to have your brothers and sisters join you. Praise God. And Amen. bring prayer into it. Amen. And I want to invite Amen. you. Amen. Yeah. We have yeah. next um, Sunday, yeah. they start 5 o'clock yeah. in room A129. Okay. That prayer. Sure. But it is not just for this year. Sure. It is for the country. Sure. If you want to join sure. and bring this matter in prayer. Sure with them. I, I'd love I love to accept the invitation. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not better than any of my brothers and sisters. We're saying like we all say the church needs revival. Agree? True. Agree? We right? All need a we, the, church, yeah, the church, yeah, the church needs revival. Fully. Like like culture is religion externalized. What you see in the culture is the religion of the culture externalized. And that religion is not Christianity. Right? And the church is salt it, it, Matthew 5 says that the sign of the time will be the saltless salt and the lightless lampstand. In other words, we will be trampled under the feet of pagans. Oh, I appreciate it, you guys yeah. standing out here and, and yeah. trying to do something. Yeah. I just yeah. don't want you to think you're against the... No, no, I'm not against. We're for. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. No, but I, yeah. Mean, I, I agree. Yeah. It just doesn't, I don't want the appearance of yeah. culture yeah. here anyway, welcome. but there should but be. Yeah. But the fact is, I respect leadership. I respect the yeah. way that God yeah. has dispensed the responsibility yeah. for leaders to be yeah. leaders. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So according, they have church, to be leaders have to be according to the word of God. Whatever they said. Okay. Well, but mm -hmm. that's tyranny. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. It is no, very responsible. Yeah. 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 No, I'm just saying this is yeah. kind of a, if that's, I really do yeah. what I think I need to do sometimes, yeah. what needs yeah. to be done, I'm going to be breaking the law. I'm going to be. You're no, no, no. If you're, if you're, the I mean, only the way, the, the only, law, let me try to, yeah, let me try. There is no such thing as the country's law. There is, there's, God says in his word, law and lawlessness, two categories, not three, four, five, well, no okay. middle ground. There's no God middle ground. Yeah. Government. Yeah. And do we have to and, obey and the law? We don't have a role. No, we don't. We don't obey lawlessness. We yeah, don't. Do no, we, we would we obey either? Hitler's law? Um, no, I mean, excuse me. You're generalizing. No, I'm not. God's yeah. way. Yeah. That's maybe the point I'm trying to get across here. Yeah. yeah. It's not to stop you. Uh, uh, no, that's not what I'm doing. Sure. I'm trying to say, allow, make room yeah. for how God is talking in the leader's heart okay. to allow things because the elders has to look out for their congregation. Yeah, but it's not looking out for the congregation uh, if you're not yeah. standing on the word of God in every area of life. You have to, th this Are is... Are you aware yeah. of how they approach things in this church, for instance? Here's this the thing. I, I know, I, I, I was, I, mean. I have a master's degree from the King's College and Seminary. I've been involved in the ministry industrial complex for over 11 years, a master's in theology. Yeah. I understand how the ministry industrial complex works. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. The church in America has compromised with the idols of the age. It is compromised with humanism. There should be church discipline, church discipline for sending your children to public schools. So sending your, would you send your kid to an Islamic school? No. Would you send your kids to a school that, that uh, uh, teaches secular humanism as the law of the land, the law of neutrality? Of course, of course not, right? Should I be supporting yeah. these schools? Yeah. My taxes are going you should not. You're getting, you're getting stolen from. Yeah. Do you know why you're getting stolen but, from? But because the I... churches and the pulpits are silent. But what am I you're not hearing this message. I guarantee you, if you're hearing this message, if you're hearing this message from that pulpit, direct me online to where you can, where I can hear that message, and I will go ahead and donate this church $100. I'm, I'm just trying to say, how do you yeah. keep on yeah. proclaiming the truth sure. and as the boots 
state yeah. without without being thrown into jail. Well, some of us do get thrown into jail. We're willing to put it all on the line. And it's not because of anything good in us. It's because the Lord, we're, look, we're not special. We're not holy. Look, I mean, you can talk to any of <laughs> we're, we're nothing. We, we, we consider y'all better than us. That's why we're out here. Yeah. We consider y'all better than ourselves. You know. We're not holy. Well, why say you yeah. and us? I mean, yeah. We, 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 yeah. You, you, you profess to be a No, I'm just talking God. about, yeah, no, and we're, well, so do you. I, I, I yeah. consider you a brother and a sister. What I'm saying is y'all in this church right here, we're not, I'm not talking about brother versus atheist no, or anything like that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not that you're unwelcome. I'm totally you treating you like a brother. Times out here and I was like, why do I only see you in this church? Well, well this is, this is, this is the first time actually I've been out here, okay. but uh, we go to every single church. Uh, well, that we can, obviously, within reason. We go to the, all the humanistic indoctrination centers. Does the, does the pastor ever say, hey, you need to get out on the, on the front lawns of the humanistic centers and preach the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ as a, as a Christian? You need to get out there. You need to carry this well, word. I know. Right? One thing, what I get here, yeah. is just my yeah. witness from it, is yeah. uh, I'm not being shamed or forced into making decisions and doing sure. things, but I'm getting the truth. I'm hearing the gospel out here. I'm sure. hearing, I'm not hearing it in the same words you're saying it, but I'm hearing the same things. I, I, I would beg to disagree, but if you're right, if, if, if you've heard this, yeah, no, if you've heard this, um, well, I kind of am a little bit educated on what's going on in the ministry industrial complex. Now, I'm not saying I've listened to every sermon that goes forward from this church, but I know Swindle. Um, Take yeah. today's message. Yeah, sure. You can buy it, you can ask them for it, whichever Yeah, way. it's free online. Yeah. yeah. But today's message specifically. Sure. Right. It's Romans 12. And it oh, wow, that's appropriate. From, mm -hmm, and yeah. it goes about the gifts and mm -hmm. the practical living of the gifts. Yeah. All right? yeah. And I am a big proponent of developing people, making them aware, mentoring people, mm -hmm. and getting them out there. Yeah, to, but what are we mentoring them to do? You are a proponent of keeping to Jesus' word that he spoke to us to follow Father's law. I mean, right? as parents, we yeah. are... Because Jesus Every area, was the yeah. word. Every area of life, yeah. lived for us yeah. in obedience to the yeah. Father's law. But it was not just about yeah. the law. Of course it not. It was about the Spirit empowering yeah. us of course. to walk in His truth. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it won't go to contrary to His standard. It won't go contrary to His Never, standard. Never, because yeah. the Spirit will be pure. Yeah. And He will empower the child who is willing. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. No, I'll no, listen no, to this no, sermon from sister. today. I'll make, I don't know, hey, hey, sister, I, look, I, I, look, I'm here, I'm here for a reason, to ask, you go to a good man's house for help. You don't go to a bad man's, we're not at the, uh, we, I mean, I we sometimes go, we don't go to like the Methodist church or something like that. Yeah. We're coming to the good man's house for help, all right? All right. So I, I, I'll make you a deal. I'll listen to the message for today. I want you to go to reconstructionistradio.com and listen to Acts to the Root. It's a podcast, just the first just the first session about covenantal thinking. And then my name is Joe Salant, Joe Salant, S-A-L-A-N-T. Link me up on Facebook, and then tell me what you thought about that, uh, about that message. I am not a Facebooker, yeah. sorry. Oh, that. okay. I um, am low do you, what's, your, what's your name? I don't, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't use Facebook either, I just like... Uh, I, I don't blame y'all. I don't blame y'all. Yeah. By the way, I'm well, it's really a it's a it's a it's all. a public place, and that's I what know. we have to. It's for our it's for our safety. Actually, one of the most dangerous places for may a Christian I, to be I, is outside of I a uh, on the sidewalk of a church. I just want to yeah. ask you, please, not yeah. to yeah. put my face yeah. out uh, there. Okay. I, 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 I don't think you you perceive as hostile out here, and just that your message is what we know is. Well, look on look online and see look online and and see for yourself. Abolitionist Society of Little Elm, go on there, and there's been some videos about uh, some of the congregants right. and stuff like that. You, I mean, as educated as you know, we have to preach the whole gospel. It's not Everything. just one thing. Everything, yeah, and that's why I'm not out here just with this. What have I been talking yeah. to you about? I've been talking to you about the humanistic indoctrination centers. I've been talking to you about the police. I've been talking to you about maybe did I mention the prison industrial complex? We can't mm -hmm. defeat abortion by eight, by trying to limit just abortion. Mm -hmm. We have to go to the idol, the worldview that makes abortion possible to begin with, which is humanism. And the church is totally, totally has the power to put the, this idol to death tomorrow if we would repent, but it's going to cost. Jesus said it is costly. Living for me is going to cost. You're going to lose your entire life to gain it. And you could. We might go to prison. We might go to jail. We stand outside of the uh, yeah, police we departments. We stand we outside. Be foolish about it. Well, being, foolish, be being foolish is not standing up on yeah. the word of God. That's being foolish. Being foolish is taking the treasure that God has given, them and given us and burying it in the ground. I, I know this whole... You know, that's a moral opinion. That's yes. a moral opinion. How do the boots of your moral opinions look? 
I yeah, exactly. I want to ask you a question yeah. just for sure. my own curiosity. Absolutely. As you understood from your walk with Christ, what is your gift He's given you when you came to Him? Well, there's see here's the the operation of the gifts. Yeah, operation. I'm a teacher, but but operation of the gift. I operate in in, in a prophetic gift as well too, but um, and you know the gifts are supposed to be the manifestation of the bride of Christ, like Proverbs 31, a visible demonstration of the power of God on the earth. That's what they're for. Okay, and yeah, there's gifts of help, of, of uh, hospitality, and, and there's gifts where Christians are, 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 you know, giving to each other and supporting of each other and all that other kind of stuff, but it's not to the exclusion of the demonstration of the Lordship of Christ in the culture. So the dominion mandate in Genesis 126 through 128, you're creating the image of God, and you're supposed to bring this whole earth into submission. Now, the, the uh, Great Commission says, all authority has been given unto me. Now go, therefore, and make disciples, teaching all nations everything that I have commanded. What does everything mean in the Greek? Everything means everything that I have commanded. And so what we have done in America and in, cult in cultures like this, in Texas and things, we have taken that light and put it right under a bushel. We have made it, it's a mockery to even think we could walk into a courtroom today with the word of God and saying that that's the law. Who's that on? That's on us. That's not, that we need to repent. Judgment begins in the household of God. We can't flip on the TV and curse it, you know, a politician or, or shake our fists at the heavens because things are, aren't stolen property taxes and all that other kind of stuff. The reason why these things are going on is because of us. We need to repent. There's no revival without repentance. There's no reformation without revival. We need a splash of the Holy Spirit in this land. Amen. 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 That's fine. That's fine. G greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. One man and God is a majority. No, I'm glad you Woo! I know that the Lord God it's truth. Is, the yeah. Lord God is definitely supporting um, when we align with yeah. how he does things. How he is going to ordain yeah. the hierarchy of authority. Jesus yeah. never, yeah. ever went out of that. Well, sure he, he did. Sure he did. Sure he did. What did Jesus say to the religious leaders of the day? They needed that. Exactly. Needed and, that. and our church leaders today needed to. And that's why, for instance, again, I come back to that. Chuck message. Swindle needs it. It's a, it's a call to re-examine huh? and to re-evaluate. Am I functioning as the, the part of Christ, the church of Christ? Yeah. And I'm, I'm not just saying this as a name of a building. That's sure. what I'm saying. Sure. I'm talking globally. Yeah. Um, when you are functioning in your in your obedience and in, in your understanding of the Word of God, when you start walking your Bible, sure. when you start living it, sure. there is power sure. because the Word of God is the power. I am so, I am so amening everything you're saying right amen. now. I'm like, amen, amen, amen. Yes, but, yeah. but, yeah. but, Jesus says, come to me yeah. and we are to take up his yoke. Yeah. Absolutely. It's His yoke called, is, yeah. It's not yeah. called this yeah. thing. It's a yoke. Yeah. And what's yeah. the job of a yoke? Yeah. It's Amen. To keep us in that way and to keep us listening. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Amen. That's what I'm preaching out here. I could preach that exact same. That is exactly what I'm talking I just, about. I just, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. 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 Boundary yeah. Yeah. To keep yeah. in no, line. Yeah. The reason I come yeah. here is it seems you know, yeah. people pass and they just yeah. hear a second or two and. What do they hear? They at hear the them. end, at the end of the day, this is a declaration. You're no, talking about the gifts. A, a this is pro this is prophecy. This is there comes a time in Germany you would expect Christians to be outside of the churches saying, "Help! What's going on down the street? I mean, Help!" People can't yeah. stop and listen because yeah. traffic yeah. has to move. Hey, to at, at the, it's better. Is there a look, better way? It, yeah. Well, hey, if there's a better way, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like if if you if I could you know talk to people during the prayer meeting and stuff like that, absolutely, I would love to. There's always got to be something where we can exhort each other to be more efficient. We're not saying that this is the most efficient way. We're saying that we're being obedient to God. Yeah. We're, we're saying we're being... I have to make sure you yeah. understand my wording. Sure. It is, I invited you to come yeah. share your prayer request. Sure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yet? Sure. Yeah. But if yeah, if we, no, I'm not going to change the meeting. I'm not going to change your meeting. Yeah. 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 There's no apology for yeah. this. I'm not going to change your meeting. Yeah. That's part of being not this church, but be found. Be apologize for what? We don't need to apologize for what? The fact is, we need to stand upon.
Apology means I explain. Oh yeah, apologetics. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I stand First Peter three fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I stand for the function of the prayer meeting. Is the sure. call for help? You say. Yeah. I need to call for help. Yeah. I invite you. Do you I, and I invite you for to our uh, service that we have tonight. Okay, it's at uh, it's at that man's house way back there. He lives in Little Elm. If you go to the Abolitionist Society, or yes, uh, I, um, no, 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 it's if fine. I it's can't fine. We can find get that. you a uh, Abolitionist Society of Little Elm, at five o'clock we gather, we break bread, we take part in the sacraments, right, mm -hmm. and then we go ahead with a preaching of the word and that's a worship that's session a good too, night, as well. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's a it's yeah. delivering man from the dominion of man. In the 1800s. Christians rose up and put an end to slavery. And the reason why they did it wasn't because of a government law, wasn't because the pulpits were calling for it, but because Christians, everyday Christians, just the Christian, average Christian on the street said, this is enough. And so you had uh, uh, William Lloyd Garrison, you had Elijah Lovejoy, you had them out there agitating the culture with signs like this, going to the churches. The churches of that time, do you know what they said about the abolitionists of slavery? Oh, they're against the church. They're against leadership. They're against, they said that it is the same thing. And I, history goes forward. God is progressing history. History is not a cycle, but it sure does have echoes of itself. And today, as we fight a greater evil than slavery, we talk to Christians who say, yeah, you know, we're doing enough. And uh, we have leaders that are that are put no, there by God. I don't think yeah. Every don't child think of God, is yeah. being done, every yeah. child of God yeah. has their function. Yeah. Has yeah. to yeah. examine themselves with their work sure. with Christ. Sure. I know is that happening? They cheer. Is it happening? Is that happening? Is what you're saying happening in our yeah, but in our culture? Something I can do for someone else. I can. Only God can. I can, I can the Holy Spirit yeah. has I to wake us up. Exactly. And what, how did? And so, are you? Would you say that this message is of God or not of God? There is only two options. Is it of God or is it not? There's no middle ground. What would you say? I would say it's is a this, wake up call. Yeah. Like when Amen, Maya sister. had to go and stand. This is of and God. This Amen. Is the message. Amen. That you're saying that. Yeah. that Abortion is, is praise God. I mean, what are you saying? That's yeah. wrong. That it's, is murder. It's not murder. that yeah. I murder. Yeah. Are, are else. ever gonna yeah. disagree with you? I agree with that. That's not what I'm I don't know what else. Yeah. What you have some proclamation of stuff. To the, you know, well, of course you don't. I mean, yeah, I, we I could be whoever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I pray yeah. for the blessing yeah. of God yeah. on you, understanding my heart here, to encourage you to walk very closely in the yoke of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay? Amen. Yeah. And Amen. I receive that. I receive that, of course. Because I have a great respect that yeah. God has given a certain amount, and I know I'm not very popular with this, a certain amount of leadership that has to be in the hands of men. They have to do that kind of fronting uh, but, with the women coming. Let me ask you something. But yeah, that's fine. But let me let me ask you something. Is that if that leadership abrogates the law of God, if if the leadership doesn't teach the whole counsel of God, and abrogates God's authority by declaring legal what God has declared illegal? Are they leaders, according to the, the Word of God? Are they leaders? Hey, we if, can just look at examples from the yeah. Bible. I mean, God's system yeah. was a theocracy. They yeah. chose to have a king. Put a uh, king over us. But when they had the king, yeah. they had to obey. They had to obey this king. And, and when the they, and when the, but hold on now, what did the king have to obey? Yeah, the king had to obey God. Ah, there we go. Yeah, That's right. Romans 13. But That's Romans 13. The, 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 the magistrate. But the prophets didn't go out and, but and kill these different. kings. They, they, they preached. They preached. They preached. You're making my point. Yeah. Yeah. The You're making my point. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, they America did. is different. Yeah. Did what God philosophy. told them to do. Yeah. America is different in its philosophy. As a Masonic state, as a Masonic institution, it's different. In its Hold on now. There is no. There is no nation. There is no nation under the sun at any point in time in history that is that is exempt from the obedience to the law of God. There is none. But it was you by the choice yeah. of how yeah. the political argument was put forth. Huh. Choosing democracy, choosing yeah. a republic, a and amen. a nation, a, a marriage of the two. Yeah. It was a specific, deliberate action of Against God. Against God. Furthest yeah. away from God. Amen. Yes, yeah. we the people. Hey, praise the Lord. Amen. That, that that's awesome. In the middle of the whole thing here, huh. we cannot address America as if it is a theocracy. We address we address everything. We address there's two categories. There's two, here's, here's what no here's what the church doesn't understand. And the church years ago would have understood this. Okay, you have two categories. You have you have theonomy, okay, or autonomy. So every man does what's what's right in their own eyes, or the law of God is obeyed. 
Uh huh. The law revealed in his moral character. So yes, we address America with the, the you can't you're not if you don't if you're not preaching the requirements of God you're not preaching the gospel. The, the gospel means Jesus is king over all areas of life. Truth yeah. from according yeah. to the God of Word because that's yeah. our guideline, right? That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm not saying yeah. that. Again, just... I'm not against <laughs> well, yeah, I, so I, I think I we're just agreeing more than anything. Yes. I think we're just, I <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. To walk yeah. Whatever you understand from scripture, so I just want to encourage yeah. you to I appreciate it. To yeah, with the truth. Yeah, I, I receive that, brother. Okay, and for no, these but guys, you, you're very knowledgeable and, and educated yeah. and everything. I'm not so. Oh, don't say that, brother. I don't want to argue, but no, no, this is not an argument. Well, this is just the truth. The yeah. truth is that you address a nation according to the yeah. Word of God. There's no, oh, well, they chose Satan, so let them go with Satan, and we'll obey their rulers when they give us satanic decrees. There's no on, way. I wish yeah. I could get you on CNN. <laughs> I have some stuff. I, I, I host the War Room podcast. Go to Recon here, this one. Go to ReconstructionistRadio.com. Yeah. Yeah. Have you asked they, for airtime there? They, you know, I used to be uh, a part of the ministry industry. I used to be part of churches like no, this. I, I mean, not the Bride of Christ, yeah, but yeah. members. Yeah. yeah. And you seem to have yeah. little yeah. something no, no, no. about I it. Yeah, yeah. Five hundred one c three status tax. They, they, you know that. It, it, there's a comp. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, I just asked. I, I really and you I appreciate. Go it. There. Uh, Did you go there? To, no. American no. Family Radio. No, I didn't. Ask them for that. No, I didn't. Please no, I didn't. do. I'll, hear what they think I'll send them the. And I'll send them the clips. I'll send them my clips. I really appreciate it. No, and there is, there, there is a disdain for the complex, not for the Christians, yeah. because I love Christians. Sometimes you, but I you hate. Have to operate in, you have to operate under some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: I mean, when you, you here, here's here's the thing. Well, according to we never forsake the assembly together of the yeah. saints. Uh, we have in the Bible it defines leadership as what service, not lording over, but he who serves leads. He he who wants to be greatest in the kingdom of God is the least. So that's who a real elder is. A real elder is somebody not with a title or who's been appointed by a board or who stands behind a wooden box. A real elder is somebody who serves the least of I'm, these, I'm who I'm washes for, toilets. You I'm know, that's who a real house church movements yeah. and all that. I'm, yeah. That, yeah. that's what you're talking about, or... When I talk about the complex, I talk about the 80 million Christians in America that are attached to, yeah. that are attached to this whole giant edifice where money is coming in for Christian teachings, for Christian programming, for Christian broadcasting, for Christian internet, where a 501c3 status as a toleration act, look this up, a toleration act is granted by the state, so as they keep their mouth shut on certain political issues, they will be granted tax, tax exemption, 501, later, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, absolutely, but it's a result of what you said, it's a result of what you said, because in, in 1787, it was we the people, Instead of God, if you look at the state constitutions, it was all you had to have a those, profession those, of faith those, in Jesus Christ. But I also have yeah. another those thing about that. Are unconstitutional yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's things that were added later by politicians that we're afraid of. Yeah, but all things. that. So that is the complex. Yeah. It's the complex that's subject to the state that says, yeah, you know, we'll stay in our box. We're not going to bother you at the humanistic schools. We're not. You're going to let you have your police. We're going to let you have your prison industrial complex. We're going to let you have your abortion mills. We're just going to try to regulate it. We're not going to be out in front of it. Are we acting like Christians? Like if there's if that abortion mill, look how many people are in this church today. Do you know that there was a HB 948 bill last year up in Austin for the abolition of abortion and less less Christians went to Austin to support that than come to this church every Sunday morning? Can you believe that? That's what I mean by the ministry industrial complex. That is what I mean by the ministry. Just keep on with the regular schedule, Taco Tuesday, Christianity. Yeah, but still, yeah. remember, I understand. Yeah. we have to treat people as adults. Absolutely. We have to make up their own choices and minds. Uh, of course. As I said, individual, authentic walking. Praise God, yeah, amen. And, and that is where we do have to have uh, mercy on them. Yeah. Time, prayer. Yeah. Yeah. A million words of prayer before one word spoken. Yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. Anyways. We're all, and, and we're all a prayerless bunch, really, when you think but about the, it, you know? But the fact is, well, to me yeah. personally, it's, it's, yeah. it's part of... Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. I can convict that I don't pray enough. Pray yeah. 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 yeah, exactly, yeah, that amen. That is what, yeah. what people sometimes misunderstand. Yeah. Yeah. It's not claim and prove that stuff. Uh-uh, yeah. it's got nothing to do with that. It's got with your personal spending time with Christ. Praise God. And hearing his voice. Amen. I receive that, and I need, I need, to, I need to hear that this morning. I, that, that's for me. I need to hear that. I receive what I, you I said. Just, yeah. I just see. Yeah. I just. Too many, I've seen too many people in leadership yeah. positions that yeah. uh, they get a little paranoid eventually sometimes, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and they they lose the way, and they 
go off on tangents with stuff. Yeah. And they lose yeah. the they lose yeah. the efficiency because yeah. they don't keep on. Yeah. Staying with the a full orbed gospel of the yeah. kingdom. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I wouldn't say only, but it's better, you know. I mean, God can heal somebody in a well. God can heal somebody in a prison cell, you know, in isolation. Yeah, but they will need a community still. Well, there's there's a, a individual like if so if they if they locked me up in jail for 30 years in solitary confinement, are you saying that if I don't have community, I'm going to die? I could persevere with the Lord, right? So can you? Yeah. Yeah. It's still a community because you are I'm not saying reject the community. Yeah. yeah, you don't reject the community. Yeah. But we yeah. have to yeah. listen to Christ. Yeah. That you have to take your gift. Yeah. If you are a believer, make sure that you know your gift. Make sure that you hone your gift. Yeah. Make sure that you practice it. Yeah. Because with peace that yeah. Jesus has given us, the peace is enduring, dwelling in us. Yeah. Has given us. Amen. And He wants us to take peace, to pursue peace. Well, we, we get impatient Not sometimes. peace like the world understands. Amen. Yeah. It is the peace that... Peace in the midst of the battle. Peace in the midst yes. of the battle. Yeah. And we are but not it's in, yeah. in yeah. God's power, not in your own power. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. that. You could, do this in, you could do this in your own power. You could do that in your own power. There's no activity that you I mean, can't do in your own power. You can say yeah. exactly yeah. what you yeah. say, yeah. and yeah. it's going to be dead because yeah. people are going to... It's not going to be... Exactly. Or it could be because people have hearts of stone, too. Yeah. So we're not responsible for... Other than God yeah. can yes, use... Yeah. We yeah. Responsible yeah. To As the expression goes. Yeah. By praying, God softening of their hearts. Absolutely. Amen. I want this message used. I want this to be... Praise the Lord. Amen. I receive that. That, that. that That's needed. That's why yeah. I'm saying what I'm saying. Yeah. Prayer is mis, misrepresented. Yeah. Mis misused. Yeah. And totally. Then, one of the reasons. One of the reasons for this Holocaust for humanism is prayerlessness. That's one. That's definitely one of the reasons. That's definitely on the list. Mm -hmm. We just need to function all as one in total, all according to the law of God to the gospel of the glory of his kingdom. Psalm 110 says that the Lord says to my Lord, sit thee at my right hand until I make your enemies my footstool. That is it throughout the New Testament. The most quoted verse in the New Testament is in Psalm 110. And we have the victory, but we're sitting and just practicing our regular programs as, as usual. Yeah. When he encouraged the children of God yeah. to pray for their leaders yeah. who were Romans, of course. But also not to unnecessarily stir up trouble yeah. for the innocent and the weak. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. But we are thankful. Oh, I'm for so the thankful message, for you. Okay?